Yo, what up, what up? If I am bringing you gameplay, something must be happening. So what's happening is I'm playing against the San Antonio Spurs. And that is all. No, but seriously, this is game 10 of the 1990s. So I'm just trying to wrap it up here. This game was a lot less contested than all of the other games which had cards involved. Which is very surprising because, like I said, 2K puts the San Antonio Spurs on a pedestal. So I don't think they've watched basketball games in the past eight years. But I know they must be crying being that this is San Antonio's. It will be San Antonio's first time missing the playoffs in 21 years, 22 years, whatever it is. So we're just trying to burn clock time here. As per always, got to get cheesy. Click through STS. Working on my evil cards. Getting some. There's also something I do on offense, which I for keep forgetting to mention. So when you press, excuse me, it's first press L1, L1. But uh, when you press, I don't even remember right now. Give me a second to gather my thoughts. <laughs> it's It's early in the morning for me and I was working all night, so. So like I said on defense, what I have is neutral, auto trans. If you're having difficulties, like I said, set one of those, one of your best defenders on one of their players or their most skilled player. Conservative. When it comes to offense. Why can I not remember the buttons now? At either rate, I put it on limit transition. So when you're running the quick through STS, you guys aren't crashing the board so they can actually recover on defense. And slow play. So that's a wrap. Limit transition and what it's it's I don't think it's slow play, but it's whatever the hell it is. <laughs> I am really tired. So I think I'll continue pressing on this, especially tomorrow because I don't work. But, uh, ooh, look at that. Because I want to get those two tokens per game. You might as well get them while you can. Get those tokens. Because if you're able to finish all 50 games, that's 100 additional tokens for the weekend. Get on it. That This should be your main focus for the weekend. Two tokens doesn't seem like much. But 100 plus all the other stuff, it adds up. And I'm coming up on two milestones. So I'm slowly creeping towards 100k. Unfortunately, when I last looked, Pascal Siakam was not a buy now. And I am creeping up on 751 tokens. So we'll check Pascal really quick. So that definitely does not look like a buy now. You got to really watch the market. Problem is the cards are coming out of packs. Tomorrow? Two days? Okay, so I got a couple days. Hopefully they fall back into the buy now. And uh, the other thing would be 750 tokens. So we'll take a look at who I don't have. So it's going to be Bradley Beal, Tony Parker, Tim Duncan, Grant Hill, Bob Pettit, Amare, 
Josh Smith, Job ja Morant, and Zach Levine. No chance I get Zach because he doesn't have unpluckable, so he's just going to get stripped all the time. John ja Morant, I really thought about, but six foot three, and I have so many point guards. Josh Smith is one of my possibilities. I've had heard so many good things about him. Amar is the one I'm really leaning towards. Bob Pettit, I've heard some really, really good things about. Grant Haley's old. I mean, I I really enjoyed him as a player. And I'm glad they do allow for the evolution. But I think he's still outdated. And as talented as he may be, I think he's a little bit weak on the defensive end. And short. Unfortunately, he is short. He is only, I want to say, 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, and it's a single position. So that's the bummer about all the older cards is they were locked to one position. We got Tim Duncan. I had thought about him. But I do have a lot of skilled big guys. So I'm just like, eh. I don't think so. We got Tony Parker, who is probably the worst right now in the token market. So I have like zero interest. Plus, I was never a San Antonio fan. And then we have Bradley Beal, who might be like a, the hidden gem who nobody ever picks up or talks about. Even at 6'5", he has some pretty good height. But again, in the unlimited, it kind of limits him to only shooting guard. So I think the two I'm thinking about are either Josh Smith here or Amare. I mean, feel free to comment below if any of these guys who would you pick if you had your 750 tokens i mean the final option is to save it but by the time a new token market comes around if it does i guarantee i'll have another 750 so it's not even a big deal to me so anyways the reason why we were here opal or admin six seven two twenty 46 and 21, so you know this guy's got to have all the defensive badges. For literally five hours of grind time, we'll say five to seven. Because people always say 30 minutes, but it's not always true. You got to have the absolute right circumstances of not stopping the clock and not fouling. And the other team and not calling timeouts and such. So I'd say closer to seven hours. Seven hours for free Opals is where it's at. You cannot complain. So like I said, all the defensive badges. Like literally all the defensive badges. And then for all those people who insist on literally running around the three-point line and then stepping out to center court to shoot shots, you got a gold range extender. Like, when was that ever basketball? Steph Curry, that's it. That is it in the league ever. In this game, it's everyone right now. A's and A-pluses. As per expected on an opal, our tendencies... Looks like I might have some fun with him, Duncan. to the attributes <clears throat> so the only thing that's kind of weak is his block 
but even at 91, that's pretty decent. It's passing, eh. I think probably with him I would throw a three-point shoe on. I'm not certain, but I'm pretty sure I would. But again, hit, the point of him is not for shooting threes. So do you add a shoe to really make him a lockdown defender? Do you add one to give him a little bit of range? I don't know. But yeah, that's Dennis Rodman. I wish they would have changed his hair to again. To another one of the crazy colors. But uh, let's take a quick look here. So I want your opinions both on who would you buy in the token market and if you were to make an unlimited team with my roster, who would you use? So we're going to scroll through here, the dime, or the uh, opals, pink diamonds, and diamonds. Obviously, I need to get some more diamond contracts. I'm getting close to the John Wall and the Pau Gasol um, evolution, so they, they will be opal soon. I forgot there's a lot of pink diamonds. Let's speed this up a bit. Earl Boykins. Definitely putting him on a team. <clears throat> the no height restriction team. Boykins, Nate, Muggsy. I guess Westbrook's center card. And the only reason I'm showing diamonds is some of them definitely are still usable. But yeah, there it is. So who would you buy in the token market that I don't have? And who would you make with a roster with who I have on my team currently? And yes, I do have all of those amethysts that are, are well-liked too. So uh, yeah, that is it. That is Dennis Rodman for you. We all can do it. Set it by a little time if you can. Like I said this weekend, we can all get these cards relatively easy, even with five-man teams. Like I said, as long as you use the Quick Through STS from the Nets playbook, hopefully you've had it all year. You have five defenders as your, your starting court because... Quick through STS is going to make it super simple to score, so you just make got to make sure you're able to defend. Make sure you're using a defensive coach. So I was using uh, Brad Davis, I do believe. But I also do have... Um, why am I drawing a blank? Uh, Greg Popovich, yes. 
So I have both the defensive coaches. So make sure you pick up a defensive coach. Um, quick through STS, and that's playbook. Defensive players you want out there. So, I mean, if you've got that Jonathan Isaac or the Brandon uh, Clark or any of those guys, you might want to put them on the team's best player. Uh, make sure if you need to and you're struggling to set matchups, set the matchups in the game. Uh, make sure you set all of your offensive and defensive stuff to, to like the neutral stuff or the passive stuff. And yeah, just get to the grind. You know how it is. Let's do this. But uh, as per always, thanks for watching and uh, keep your grind game strong.